You know, we've fed a lot of crews and a lot of people and since I've been in this business for about the last 30 years. But uh, I've always learned to cook for cowboys first, and, and you have the staple ingredients that you always bring, flour, sugar, coffee, you know, and, and your meat and your canned goods. Uh, and you figure it out through the years what it takes, and depends on what time of year it is, whether spring or fall, because cowboys are going to eat least eat less in the summertime than they are in the winter, so we try to figure it accordingly. You know, you, you figure a third of a pound of meat per person on a finished product. You usually look at two eggs a person of a morning for breakfast, either scrambled or fried, uh, three pieces of bacon or two pieces of sausage. And you talk about your dried goods, you know, we're, we're figuring about 10 pounds of sugar if we're doing a lot of cobblers and sweet stuff through, through a week, plus about 20 pounds of flour because we're making bread at every meal. But also you figure a pound of beans feed 10 people. So you, you figure accordingly, you make a menu and a grocery list and you stick to it. So Because whether you're in three weeks, five weeks, or you're just in two weeks, you have to stick to that. We always try to take in a few, about two days extra just in case it snows or you get rained out. But always remember, you can have too much, but it sure is a bad thing to have too little when you look in one of these skillets and it's empty and you still got four or five more hands to feed because I guarantee you, them old hands that's worth their weight in gold, if there's just two biscuits left in there and everybody's coming through the line, them old fellers ain't gonna take one. They got manners and they was raised right. So buy groceries, keep a lot of them. We ain't gonna have no time to go to Walmart on this deal.